guys, how are you today? And welcome to another F1 2017 season team preview. Today, we're going to be previewing the Renault F1 team. Meaning, after this video, there's only one more preview to do, and that'll be Sauber in a couple of days. Anyway, Renault. So, 2016 was their return to the sport. After a few seasons out of the sport, they lost entered as Renault in 2010. So, as for 2016, it was a fairly disappointing season for them, I guess. I guess as a manufacturer team, they've been hoping to do better than only just beating uh, Sauber and Manor. You know, their drivers weren't so consistent, had a lot of mechanical issues, and ultimately they just didn't have the pace. The car was simply not good enough, which is sad for them. And the good news for them is that I'm actually going to predict them to have a stronger 2017. So, as for the drivers in 2017, they're keeping British driver Julian Palmer. Again, I normally support the British drivers, but I didn't think that much of him. I didn't see him as being that good, but maybe if he gets a more competitive car, we'll have a better idea of how good he is and they're gonna have Nico Hulkenberg and that he is considered to be a future champion although I also doubt that to be honest but uh, you know he has he's been in a strong force India which has been getting some podiums but he's never actually managed to get a podium or you know, he, you know the best thing of his career was that pole position in Brazil 2010. So, I think, I personally think Hulkenberg's a bit overrated, or maybe he's just a bit unlucky. And I guess moving to manufacture a team is his big chance to prove himself as you're a good development driver. And I guess this year is huge for Hulkenberg. It's also big for Palmer to make prove himself, so to make sure that he stays in F1 after 2017. And I think I'm going to back them both to have a strong season. And I'm going to actually predict Renault to come sixth in the Constructors, beating beating the Williams team. I don't know if you guys are going to agree with me on that. But that's what I predict, because with the rule changes, I'm, I'm convinced that the manufacturer teams, which have so much more money and funding, as well as the prize money they get from the sport itself. You know, and they have all the better things in their factories, you know, tunnels and all of that to be able to streamline their car and everything to maybe make it a better car this year. And I reckon they will be able to come sixth. You know, they will have a better car. They might be quite strong towards the start of the season, in my opinion. They've probably fooled back a bit as some of the other teams, constructor teams, you know, catch up a bit. But I'm going to predict them to come sixth in this year's constructors based on the fact that they're going to have more money this year and a better driver lineup and a driver lineup. Both, they have to both prove for themselves big time this year. Both, in, I mean, in my eyes, especially for Hulkenberg. And in general, for probably both of them as well. And obviously, I want Palmer to do well, as he's a British driver. Although, I don't support him in the same way as I supported Hamilton. And I support Button. But I guess, with all of these things, as with all the other things I've talked about on my channel, about F1, the only thing we can do now is wait and see. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like. If you have anything to say about this video, please leave a comment in the comments section below. If you really enjoyed this video and you want to see more, more videos like this and other types of videos, please subscribe to my channel. Also go and check out the video that should be on screen right now. And on that note, I'll just ask you to follow me on Twitter at BeGaming342 and like my Facebook page, BeGaming342, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Goodbye.